Hello and good day. This adventure is going to take you through a parent's guide to Google. And it's going to be the basics. My name is Brett Baker. I'm the e-learning coach for North Penn School District, helping to integrate technology in preschool classrooms through 12th grade. As a parent, is this going to be helpful for you? Well, I believe it is. It's an important area to be in tune with as we start working this in our classrooms. If you are already familiar with Google Drive, then this might not be the tutorial for you, but if you're new to the scene, sit back and relax, and I'm sure you'll take home some good tips. Keep in mind as you're working through Google that Google is known for Obviously, it's search, and so when you find something that you can't tackle, do a Google search. If you're looking for something in your drive, do a Google search. At the end of my video, if there's questions remaining, do a Google search. We're going to look today at Google Drive and how to get started with your Google Drive if you've never been there before. We're going to say, can anyone have a Google Drive? Is it different than Gmail? Could my student have two Google Drives? Could I have two Google Drives? Could anything I want be saved in Google? Is Google Drive always going to be available to me? And can I put anything I want in my Google Drive? As you can see, the answer is a resounding yes, yes, yes. When you're on your home computer, it's going to be best to be using Google Chrome, which is a browser. And many of us have grown up familiar with Internet Explorer, which was the most popular browser for many years. Now, as Google takes more and more, uh, takes over more and more things that we're doing on the computer, Google Chrome is a great option. And if we're working in Google Drive, it's best to use Google Chrome. How do you get to your drive? You just type in your address window, drive dot google.com I say use Chrome but you don't need to use Chrome to use your drive any of the browsers can get you to your Google Drive if you've never logged in before you might get a window that looks similar to this you're just going to have to enter your email and then next you can create an account just as easy and that will be something something at gmail.com. You might see a window that looks similar to this when you and your student log in. Is it an organizational app account or an individual account? And of course, your student is going to be logging into an individual, I mean, your student is going to be logging into an organizational. Google app account, which is npen.org, and you might be logging into an individual account. As parents, we won't be able to log into the domain of our students. Then, frankly, how do I get started? Quite easy. Everything is going to generate from this red rectangle and Right now, the red rectangle is actually blue when we go to the actual live Google Drive in just a moment. And then this will get you to all of your files and folders. Shared with me becomes an important aspect of Google Drive because it allows for easy document sharing. I didn't mention Google Photos, but Google Photos is a great place to put all of your home photos. Recent 
is an area that will actually make a copy of something that's in your drive. So the document will live in your drive, but you'll be able to access it here or in your drive. Start is the same way. Start is like a favorite area in Google, but it is just a copy of something that's in your drive. So when you click on your starred document, it will take you to something that you've already opened in your drive. And the trash can, I didn't mention the trash can, but the trash is always available. So it's not serious trash, like it's driving away and being taken to the dump, never to be seen again. This particular trash we can access if by some chance something gets inadvertently put into the trash can. When you open your new document, you're going to find a host of things. These are going to be, the first window is going to be the most important to you, although you can go to more and find some additional items. But these are going to be the items that you'll find most helpful and beneficial in working in Drive and with your student. Across the top portion of your screen, you'll see a search, which goes back to my comment earlier in the video, which is don't forget to use a search if you're looking for a particular document. This will list your drive and it's it'll be laid out very similar to looking at my documents on your current computer. And then down below, you can see I have some folders set up already. These little these little heads that are in the folders mean that this is a shared folder for more than just my files. In the top right corner, we have several different options. And once we go to my live Google Drive, we'll talk about these options again. Notifications is up here and also the waffle. I call this waffle for an obvious reason because it looks like a waffle and in the waffle you'll be able to do a lot of the same things you can do with that new rectangle in Google Drive. At this point if you're not logged into your Google Drive I'm going to ask that you pause the video log into your Google Drive and we're going to create a document in the area called new. I'm going to do the same thing. I've now switched over to my Google Drive and you can see my area here looks very similar to what we just chatted about except instead of having a red rectangle I have a blue rectangle and I'm going to go right in here one tap on new I'm not going to create a folder. I'm going to go right down here to Google Docs. One click on Google Docs is going to open up a Google Doc for me. And that Google Doc looks very similar to a Word document. And that's because in the Google world, a Google Doc is a Word document. It's going to be a place where you can just primarily type words. You can insert pictures, some drawings, but it is a document very similar to a Word document. I'm going to title this the parent video exclamation point. And I'm going to make that a little bit larger and with my cursor still after the title of my document, I'm going to spin up here to the upper left hand corner where it says untitled document. If I click one time up here, the title will auto populate this box. And now I've named this the parent video. One of the nice things about the parent video is 
the one of the nice things about the doc not the parent video one of the nice things about a google doc is it change it change all changes are saved automatically in the drive so every time i start typing every time you can see that every time i start typing this area says saving and when it's done saving it'll say all changes saved to drive now this is one of the other joys of google drive is that there is no more need to save it automatically saves for you and where is it saving it's saving it right to your google drive so if i go back to my google drive you'll see the parent video is sitting right here in my google drive and it's current up to date with whatever it says right here i'm going to show you another little trick while you're in google drive there's a special tool up here in the toolbox if you click on it one time you'll see voice typing this is a great item for you and for your students in that you don't actually need to type if you click on this one time a microphone appears as soon as I click on this microphone, it will be live and it's just like my voice to text in the telephone and in the phone in my car. So if I want to speak, it will take my voice and clearly place my words on the page. period new line so it is not exactly accurate in this particular case but you can see that it's going to save me a lot of time to just go back and fix the few parts that might be incorrect now now that i have this document created i'm going to share this document how do i share well sharing is going to be a little bit tricky but you can share the document Personal sharing is going to be a little bit different than organizational doc sharing of a document. Up here in the right hand corner where it says share, you can see right now it's private to only me. If I click on this and go to advanced, I can see who has access to this document. I can invite people to edit this document. I can also invite people to comment on this document or i can just invite them to view this document in a school setting sharing of documents is an awesome is an awesome tool because now i can work collaboratively in one document i'm going to go back to my drive for a moment and then i'm going to go back into sharing Keep in mind, in Google Drive, things will save themselves. What if you have two Google accounts? How do you handle that? Well, you can have several Google identities. You can keep them separate. My recommendation is you do keep them separate. So can a student have two Google accounts? Yes. Keep in mind, though, if a student is using a personal Google account, they will not be under the NPEN name. If they're on their Chromebook, however, no matter what Google account they try to sign in with, they can only sign in with their NPEN Google account. On your home machine, they can sign in with 
their NPEN account or their personal account. Any computer, whether it's Barnes & Noble or the public library or your family room, any computer that can get to the internet can give you access to your Google Drive. In your Google Drive, remember I flipped back now into my drive, you can upload anything, any type of file, any folder from your current computer. Not all file types will be able to be saved in Google Drive. Ah, they will be able to be saved, but they won't be able to be opened in Google Drive. So you're going to have to do a little experimentation. But if you have a simple Word document or an Excel spreadsheet or a PowerPoint presentation, all of them will easily upload into your Google Drive. They'll upload into your drive or they'll upload into your students drive and sharing will be sharing capability will be available for those documents. And how are the students actually using the Google Drive the most? Much of their work will be through Google Classroom. To learn more about Google Classroom and your students' work, please feel free to check out my video on Parents' Guide to Google Classroom. If you have any questions, of course, Google it. Thank you very much for your time today.